guys, Ham Solo here, Kilo Zero, Foxtrot Yankee Romeo, or in GMRS Land, Whiskey Romeo Mike Victor 759. Uh, what I'm going to do today is continue on with our little review of the KGUV 9G Pro and how we can use some of the functions of this radio. Uh, what I will be covering today are going to be uh, basically repeater setups. Uh, as well as the offset uh, in the repeaters using continuous tone coated squelch or using digital coated squelch uh, on the receive and transmit for those so you don't hear the really cheap radios with the little kids playing around uh, or uh, also the possibility of doing split tones where I have one type of tone going in let's say continuous tone coded squelch number 67 and I have a different tone coming out uh, of the repeater, 141.3. This can hear and open up on that different uh, split tone. Also, you can split tone and do a continuous tone coded squelch out and a digital coded squelch receive on a different whole type of, of uh, squelch system. And so you have the possibility of doing different uh, codes going in and out between different numbers in CTCSS or different numbers in DCS or even different numbers between the two. Have one CTCSS and one DCS coming back in. And so we're going to cover all of those features as well as initiating scans on both the channel A setup and the channel B setup at the same time, even scanning through all of those different codes that you've entered in. So hope you uh, enjoy the presentation and let's see where we go from there. All right, in the, this section of the tutorial, uh, what I'm going to do is talk about entering a repeater channel and uh, doing the offset frequency and then uh, entering a uh, continuous tone coded squelch or a digital coded squelch. And so I have the radio on. I'm up on channel A on the top band here. You can see where it says main. Uh, that is the frequency for that repeater. I uh, believe it's uh, channel 15 repeater or repeater 15. And so right now on the screen, you got the frequency 462.550. If I go into the menu and hit the menu on that, uh, I can toggle through uh, several different uh, areas. <clears throat> wide is what we would want the channel on. It is on wide. You can see the W up there at the top. Uh, transmit power, uh, we can just check that to verify real quick. It's on high, that's fine. And I want to get to offset. And it might just automatically do it because this is a GMRS radio. And so the offset, there you go, offset. And so press the button. Oh, it's just automatic for GMRS. And so normally on a on a UHF channel like this, 462, uh, the offset is going to be a <clears throat> plus 5 for UHF. And so uh, it's already set. It doesn't allow me to change it because this is GMRS. And so if I were to uh, press the transmit button, you should see it go from 462.550 and then transmit on 467.550. And there it goes. And see the switch? Whiskey Romeo Mike Victor 759. And so it automatically did the offset for me in this radio. Uh, normal ham radios, you'd have to set that either plus 5 or minus 5, depending on where you are in the frequency. But GMRS is automatically set to plus 5. And so it, autom it wouldn't even let me change it. And so it's already set. Now, if I want to go and enter a tone for that... Let's say that I don't want to hear uh, the kids with the uh, bubble wrap radios from Walmart. Uh, what I can do is <clears throat> I can go in there and set a tone, which is going to say, okay, this tone is going to hit the repeater. The repeater will only open up if it hears that tone along with my voice, and then it'll rebroadcast that tone. I'll have that in my radio on this channel. 462550 with whatever the tone is and that way my squelch will only open up if I hear the repeater 
also send that tone out. And so in order to set that, I go over here to the orange menu button and I press it. I'm on offset right now. If I arrow down, and I'm going to get back to where it had tones right here. So receive tone, what I want to hear to open my squelch, press menu, it's off. And so if I set that to whichever tone I want to set it to, let's just keep it simple and put it on 69 or I'm sorry, 67.0. And so then I hit menu. Now I will my squelch on my radio will only open if the repeater sends out 67.0. And when I go to the transmit, it's going to be the same. I hit menu. The transmit here is on 141.3. That's a pretty standard uh, tone. I'll actually go back and put that in the receive as well. And so I'm going to just say exit that. And let's hit menu. Let's go back to a receive tone. Let's enter 141.3. Again, that's pretty much a stock tone uh, that happens when you get the radio from the store. Uh, whether it's, uh, you know, Walmart or, you know, Amazon or whoever you're buying the radio from, they usually set 141.3 is pretty standard. Uh, this one from Better Safe Radios uh, has multiple banks of repeater channels that have different tones set in them so that you can go in there and set your own or use the ones that they have set. Again, this stock tone, 141.3, that's pretty standard industry-wide for a new radio. And so, again, if I key up, it's going to do the automatic offset and say 467.550, but now it has that tone in it, 141.3. Whiskey Romeo Mike Victor 759. And so if I was hitting a repeater, it would have opened that repeater at 141.3 if that's what the repeater is set to. It would rebroadcast that same tone, 141.3. My radio will only open its squelch if it hears that tone. And then I can hear that without hearing all the little kids playing on the radio. Okay? Now, this radio also has the ability to not do continuous tone coded squelch but i could do digital coded squelch that's a different set of tones and again if i hit the menu button it says off but i can sit there and pick any one of those codes that i want and it'll do the same thing it's just a digital type of coded squelch instead of the tone squelch like the old days all right and so that is a different way to set it so i am going to go back Here's my receive frequency. There's my transmit. I'm sorry, not frequency. My receive coded squelch of 141.3. My transmit squelch 141.3. I could do DCS if I want. Transmit and receive, right? Now, once you get those set, uh, then you have a bank of repeaters that are whichever ones that are in your area, and it'll sit there and it'll play those tones. Uh, in order to open the repeater, and only those tones will open the repeater. Now, it's not scrambling your signal. People can still hear you talk even if they don't have codes in there. Uh, it's just you won't be able to hear them, which kind of eliminates a lot of ne unnecessary noise. All right. Now, what's really neat about this radio, the KGUV9G Pro, is I can do split tones. And so some repeater systems like to have one tone for receive out from their repeater and so let's say that that tone is 67.0 and then they will have a transmit tone of 141.3 so when i transmit 141.3 the repeater opens it rebroadcasts rebroadcasts the 67 tone and then my radio is set to that uh the reason that they do that on some of these repeaters is in order to keep uh people from just automatically being able to search and find the codes easily and so uh it has a split tone feature a lot of the really really cheap radios that you get the bubble wrap radios from either walmart or amazon or whoever they aren't they don't have the capability to do split tones all right in addition what i think is very interesting about this radio is it also has the ability to do split tones on certain tones that don't come in the cheaper radios. 
And so let's say that the tones in the in uh, the cheaper radios, they'll stop at, say, 141.3. Well, this one will keep going and has tones all the way up into the 200s, you know, on the on the CTCSS side. On the DCS side, it has intermittent tones in between the really cheap radio tones. And so they're not able to even get on and open repeaters because they have a lesser expensive radio that doesn't allow them to have certain tones in them. And so... I will demonstrate that here in just one second. Okay, so I have a GMC Repeater 15. Um, this is in my memory as channel 45. Again, if I go to menu uh, on the receive side, let's say that we set up our repeater to do no CTCSS. I have my radio set up to transmit a CTCSS code of 141.3. I'm going to receive a DCS code of DO23 North or 23N. Okay, so I'm setting that. So basically, what's happening is I'm going to transmit continuous tone coded squelch 141.3, which will open the repeater. The repeater would respond with this DO23N code, and then my radio would open up on squelch. And that's called a split tone. And so I'm transmitting continuous tone-coded squelch on repeater 15. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759. And then when it kicks back out, if it were to hit a real repeater that was broadcasting a DCS tone, then my squelch would open up and I don't think I have an auto squelch uh, function on this one. That's the FM channel. And the light, apparently. Turn the light off. There you go. So that'd be open squelch. So let's say that I did that again. Whiskey Romeo Mike Victor 759. And then it would have kicked back with that DCS code, uh, DO23N, and then my squelch would have opened up. All right, unfortunately, in this area, I do not have any repeaters at all, so I'm not able to show that actually occurring, but that's what would occur. All right. Now, if we move away from uh, that issue and we go to some different channels, I'll show you how to scan both the channel A side and the channel B side. And so you can scan two different sets of repeaters, two different sets of codes in there, and it'll scan through all of those channels at once. All right, so what I have going on in the radio right now is on bank A, I have uh, channels in there for the Den Denver Metro Front Range GMRS group. So you see Metro 600, that's downtown Denver, Lookout 675 is Lookout Mountain, frequency 675. Then there's 700 North with its, its own codes, DCS uh, squelch in, a different DCS squelch tone out. Then there's 700 South, different DCS code in, different DCS code out, so they can tell the difference between the two towers. Boulder 725 frequency, the Boulder repeater. Uh, the VIA 675 that is like southeast, southeast Denver, uh, headed towards the plains. Then they have a Wyoming repeater, 550. And then they have two event stations uh, in the event that they were running, uh, let's say, a bike race where they're providing support. And so that is several different towers. I can't give you those codes um, because only members of the... Uh, basically, the Radio Orphan Annie Secret Society that has the decoder ring can know the codes uh, so that we don't have people who aren't paid members getting on. Uh, but I had pre-programmed those channels in using the, the software that came with the radio, and I have those split codes, DCS, in both those repeater channels, uh, uh, transmit in and receive in uh, for every one of those towers. And so if I want to scan that thing, I've got to be on main, so you see main up there on channel A. And then I have them pre-programmed to scan those towers. And so when I hit the button, it's now scanning through all of those towers. And you can see 
uh, it going through the Metro 600, the Lookout, North and South 700, the Boulder, the Vias, and the Wyoming Channel. And scanning all of those right now. All of those different digital coded squelch in and outs. All right, split tones. On the bottom, channel B section, I have just generic GMRS channels. And let me switch the band. I'll put main down here to the channel B. All right. And so now when I thumb through those, it's going to start scanning at channel 15. It's going to scan up to channel 22. And so I can listen to that scan at the same time. So as long as my main button is down here on channel B, I have those preset to scan. And I just hold down the scan button right here. Now it is scanning two different banks of channels at the same time. So the bottom one is scanning regular GMRs channel 15 through 22. They have their own continuous tone coded squelch uh, in and outs. I think they're all the same, 141.3, that's the generic one. And then the top one is scanning all of the Denver metro area uh, repeater towers with their specific split DCS codes in and out and they're all different and it can scan both at the same time and if it hears anything that it wants to open the squelch it'll open and stop on that channel and let's see if i can force it to do that by hitting squelch so it automatically stopped the scan uh, because i just pressed any button and so that wasn't the intent the intent was to see if i can get it to open on squelch and so I would have to have a signal. Like I said, in my area, there's not a whole lot of GMRS traffic. And I'm uh, definitely 75 miles from Denver, so I'm not going to hear those towers uh, uh, kick off. And so, But that's how you do dual scan uh, on whatever frequencies you want to set in your software and have them scan both the channel A side and the channel B side. Multiple different uh, coded squelches. Uh, whether it's tone-coded squelch or, or digital-coded squelch, all at the same time. Appreciate you watching. This is Ham Solo, K0FYR, or Whiskey Romeo Mike Victor 759 in the GMRS world. Appreciate it. 73.